What's up guys, welcome back to Cabo Canyon. We are back into the Stellar Crown booster boxes. Uh, if you watched the previous video, the ETB brought us back down to earth a little bit. Um, for me, as expected, uh, we can't get lucky all the time uh, in comparison to the triple booster packs beforehand. But, that being said, regardless of the uh, ETB, the ETB was more of a promo buy because obviously you need the promo. And also, that nice little discovery that they're now protecting the promo, which is really great. I'm, I, I'm glad I spent money to discover that someone in the Pokemon Center is like, let's protect the cards, people. <laughs> people like collecting these things. Let's protect them. <laughs> so I am okay with that. So getting into this second booster box... For stellar crown for us uh we've done pretty well so far and we can't really complain so much so far with oh wow crispin we need a full set of him in hollow um it's too early to say if they put like a sir and it's every box again i highly doubt that that's the case but considering that we have um, a couple under our belt already, we have gotten off to a very good start. Um, Kofu, Raging Vault, Clang, and Orthworm. We don't have this guy yet. Hoping that we actually hit majority of this set in terms of hits. It's hard to say if anything in here, like usually there's like an SIR or two in here where you kind of like go, ah, oh, I got doubles of that SIR, not that SIR. Whereas, oh, okay. <laughs> Speaking of doubles, that's our first double A spec, and then Rhyperia and Luminion. So this is a double for this one. So this is going to be going into the trade binder. So I don't think this set really has an SIR where you're like, ah, oh, I got a double. <laughs> I got a double of a high value car. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't think there's anything like that. Usually, like, there's a massive um, price discrepancy between um, between SIRs. Um, for example, like, I hate bringing it up. I hate bringing it up. Twilight Masquerade, Greninja's like 400 plus at this point. And then the other old hearts go down to like. 40 50 bucks so it's just like okay okay but this one i'm pretty certain they're all relatively hey nice 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 we're not hitting doubles today <laughs> getting one of everything is what we're looking for i mean obviously we're going to hit into doubles when it comes to like you know the full arts and all that kind of stuff because, you know, you're going to get, what, what was it? Three IRs a box. Three IRs a box. Two full arts or three? Depending on what the double banger hit is. So, in our first booster box, we got two A specs. So, obviously, the secondary A spec took out one of our full arts. Um... Which is not a not a bad complaint. <laughs> it's not a bad thing to happen. Class trumpet. Whoop. Get get over there. Be be treated good. Smeltan and Caracosta. Chuck this over there and put this in the front. <sighs> Having to really learn how to I don't know how people do it, like it's Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Oh, yes. We've got them both. We've got both Bulbasaur and Squirtle now. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. That's so good. So, at this point, Bulbasaur and Squirtle are about a 70 to $80 each. I believe they'll come down a little bit. But at the same time, I don't know how... I don't know how common it is to get them. Um, my friend actually has both of them, and he was like, "You know, if you don't pull your, if you don't pull Bulbasaur and Squirtle, then they're yours." You know, right? I'm like, 
I know, but I feel bad, you know, because that guy helps me out a lot. You know who I'm talking about, Christian. He helps me out a lot. And depending on how rare those are, then they could either go down a little bit, like, after the first week or so of, um, Stellar Crown release. Or they're going to stabilize, and they're going to go up. So... For me, personally, if I was to give you advice on what to trade away and not to trade away, if you get multiples of Bulbasaur and Squirtle, they are definitely something that I would hold on to. I'd put it in a sleeve, I'd put it in a top loader, and I'd put it in a box and don't touch that for a while. <laughs> I too also have a, uh, uh, like a, a little leave alone for 20 years box or you know how people have those funny things on the cartoon and it's like breaking like you know breaking chance of emergency or whatever like that that red box full of my doubles and all that kind of stuff is the uh is the breaking case of you know medical emergency or if you need a kidney go and sell what's in here you can get a kidney <laughs> you can you can source a kidney with the stuff in this box, Hydrapple. Oh, that's right, there's a Hydrapple in this, isn't there? I think there is? Yeah, I think there's a Hydrapple all in this. It looks all like caveman-y looking. Um, yeah, there are just certain cards where I feel like you should hold on to regardless. Like, unless, unless, you know, you really need the money to source, like, other Pokemon stuff. Or you really, you find someone that would, like, trade you one-to-one -one for another high-end card. But if you can, if you can, I would say hold on to those ones because they will go really well. Which is why everybody now is, and it's kind of funny. I did mention before how Obsidian Flames is like almost extinct here in Australia, which is why like the price of the actual sealed product of Obsidian Flames is going up. Oh, that's right. This one had the Meltan, the Yukimori Meltan. The prices of like Obsidian Flames is going up, and I find it hard to believe at the same time that people didn't know that there was a, a Squirtle and a Bulbasaur IR, considering that, you know, there's a Charmander one. And if you kind of keep up with the scene, sort of, um, common knowledge dictates that there was a Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur, the same ones that you see here in the Japanese EX starter decks. So if you had just like had that little tiny piece of knowledge, you'd be like holding on to the Charmanders from Obsidian Flames, right? It got to the point where people started to sell that stuff for $5 each. And now they're rising sharply because people are like, there's a Squirtle and a Bulbasaur? Are you saying I could have all three next to each other in like a display case or something? Yes. <laughs> So now they're going back up again. So if you if you're still holding onto some, it's probably a good idea to keep all three in a set, keep a few multiple sets for yourself and all that kind of stuff. And then you know one day you need a kidney, then you just find someone down the track, five ten years that's getting into the hobby, and they're like, oh wow, I really need that evolution set or that starter set, because Gen One stuff always does well, right? Um, Gen One stuff always does well. And I don't think that's... It's going to be very hard to beat. I don't... I'm, I'm someone who played Gen 1 and Summer Gen 2, and then I didn't play the games anymore. I didn't collect Pokemon cards until, like, a, probably about two years ago now, I think? I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm closer to, like, coming up on, like, a, two, a full two years of being in the hobby of Pokemon cards. So I never got to, I never collected them when I was a kid, unfortunately. Um, I played the games a little bit. I watched the show, like, No Tomorrow. Um, but in terms of actual, uh, like, in terms of actually playing the game, I didn't really get into it too much. But when I kind of look back at all the starter Pokemon for all the, um, the generations, and I don't want to sound like a a boomer. <laughs> and this is just my opinion. And I, I, I hate this opinion, but I like this, like, but I have to stand by this opinion as well. 
it's the same opinion people like, oh, I don't like collecting modern. I like collecting vintage. See, I like collecting modern. I'm not really into vintage all that much. Unless it's like the E-series vintage. The E-series vintage is kind of cool. Um, I don't think any other generation starters come close to generation one. Ooh, yes, we got another Turbo CX. Okay, so these guys are going to be relatively pricey um, because I have a lot of cards that go around them they're Terra Pokemon you can if you kill something with this at the end of a of, at the end of a game somewhere you can catch up and and win the game out of nowhere because if you use this with Briar I think it's with Briar yeah you take three prize cards if you're killing an EX card or something so People are probably going to be running four to the four, three to four of these in a deck, and they're going to be pretty pricey, I believe, um, as a competitive card. So you might want to hold on to those ones, or you might want to expunge them as soon as you possibly can while they're there, because competitive players will be buying play sets of them, and they are going to be shoop, out the door. You won't, you won't, they, they won't stay in your bite. You go to a locals, go to go to locals with like enough people. And you're bringing like new new stuff. Your binder, at least for your stellar crowd stuff, will be very empty very quickly. You definitely want to um, get rid of this stuff relatively quickly. Slow King, Jirachi, Electfire, Eldegoss, Rapid Dash, and another Dash Bun. So this one's a double. Into the clear sleeve it go. So now we're starting to run into our doubles, but at this point in time, at the same time, I don't think there's many IRs left that are massively high value that are now not already in the possession of the master set that we have going here at Cardboard Gain. Um, if you have been tuning in for a while, you'll know that we didn't pull the Eevee. <laughs> during the uh, Twilight Masquerade thing, so that put a damper on things. Um, I only just recently got the Persian and the Houndoom from Shrouded Fable, and that was by pure chance and luck, because I pulled them out of packets off camera and all that kind of stuff not too long ago. Still haven't master set them yet though, but they are almost there, like I'm almost able to get to the point where like, yay, we can make the videos for those two sets, which are a little bit outdated by now, but at least we'll have them here. Um, hey, nice, Lilip, <laughs> Lilip. We have another IR. So, <laughs> two boxes in, and we're like already flying. Like, I'm gonna have to get to, like, like I said, we've got two cases of booster boxes. I'm gonna have to make sure that I go buy each, <laughs> each video that I do before I record the next one. I'm gonna have to make sure how close to the master sale is because. It's hard to say if it's worth to open both if I've already kind of gotten close to Master Setting. Because if we remember back to my Twilight Masquerade escapade, that first case was amazing. The second case added two whole cards to the Master Set. Now if you're a Master Setter, that should hurt you right in the feels. That that that's 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 internal bleeding at that point to hear that one whole case of booster boxes only adding two sets to a master set is insane you could understand if that happened like on the third case if you were like to kind of go go into that kind of like um territory of um opening up that much product but for a second case to only add two to the set and then i still had quite a lot of cards left over to actually do the master set for twilight's masquerade after two um, two cases yeah, it was it was pretty bad. Obviously, the uh, argument lies that you kind of you kind of don't want to buy too much product, and you buy everything else as singles. You try and trade for them early on, so it's kind of like a self-inflicted wound, really. But it's here for my enjoyment of opening packs, and also your enjoyment of figuring out whether or not you want to collect the set or not. So. That being said, though, have to be a little bit more... Uh, oh, nice. Grand tree. So, this has got... Two, okay. 
Do booster boxes come with two A specs each now? Because that's two boxes in a row with two two A specs. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain, but <laughs> that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let me just put my comp cards over to the side here because they're starting to kind of stack up a little bit too much here. Trying to also make sure that I sort everything out as I go along and I can just throw all the useless bulk into a box and leave it there. Kind of clean as I go, although I've got all these packets all over the floor now. I should have probably bought a bin in here before doing what I did. I am very silly. I have uh, immediately regretted my decision. Hey, full art earthworm. Jeez, we are... Doing pretty well after two boxes, hey. Um, two boxes and a triple blister pack haul. And I think we also got something in that ETB as well, so... I think it was a Crispin too, wasn't it? No, it wasn't a Crispin, it was Briar. Which is still really good. Because Briar is pretty uh, high value. Blast Trumpet, Coridon, Raboot, and another Blastoise. So you're going into a sleeve. Into a sleeve you go. And we open this. Whoops. Over there. Bop up. Okay. Right on, Panita. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a bit more quicker, as I mentioned before. Mentioned a few times now. I'm trying to train myself to be a little bit more slight of handy, but not too gremlin like, because we do have a TikTok channel now um, that will eventually be streaming live breaks and all that kind of stuff. Give back to the community, open packs with the community, do a few give giveaways. We've got we got a lot of plans for it. We got a lot of we got a lot of ideas for it that we want to do. I think I've got something. I think I've got something. Capacula, nice. Okay, we don't have this guy in full art. <laughs> it's so noticeable when you miss shift the cards, and then it just kind of like moves up a little bit, and you just see that rainbow body. Like yay! All right, so. Again, two boxes in, to be expected, not too many doubles, and we're hitting a lot of firsts, but the firsts that we are hitting are huge. We haven't gotten our SIR yet for this box, if there is one, but it kind of points in the direction that there might be an SIR in here because of that double A spec. It's a possibility. But yeah, as I mentioned before, with the TikTok, if you guys are able to, uh, to follow it, if you do use TikTok, Help support the channel, help it get going, share it amongst your buddies and all that kind of stuff. It'd be really awesome of you. Wanna garner like a relatively, not even a relatively, wanna garner a nice community around this channel, around those channels. Keep it a nice safe space for everyone to enjoy all things Pokemon. And nothing there. I mean, let's have a quick count of this. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're kind of due at the very, I think at the very least, we're due two more hits. Wait, no. I think there's, wait, 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 wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're due one more hit. Or, no. We're due one more hit, possibly two. But, I, I want to make a call here. I want to see if I can, I want to see if I can nail this. So we've got, we've got our two A specs, so we're not going to see any more. We've got one full art, two full art, three full art. So that's probably not going to happen. We've got one Terra, so there should be one more base Terra. We got one, two, three, four base EXs, which shouldn't happen anymore. And we got two IRs. So if there is two hits in there, it's gonna be an IR and a base EX. Or it's gonna be a base like a base terror EX and an SIR. That that's that's my call for these last Five packets. <laughs> if there is two more hits in here, 
then it's going to be that. But I'm not really veering towards the uh, SIR being a thing in this one purely because we've also got three... Uh, we've also got three um, full arts there, as well as like two A specs, so... With that being said, it's still been an amazing box, purely, almost because, solely, the Squirtle that's sitting there, <laughs> so... That Squirtle has, uh... Smashed it, really. The Leap, Electrify, and all in Boulder. I feel like we're gonna get a Cinderace base EX Terra. Because I don't think that's negotiable. Like, in all the booster boxes I've opened, the Terra EXs... They're non-negotiable. You always get two. You don't get two. I mean, you don't get you don't get one, and you don't get three. You only you always only get two. Oh, okay. I was wrong. We've got five base EXs. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, still not a low hit box. It's still pretty high hit, right? Got two more to go. So either an IR is gonna pop out. I don't think an IR is gonna pop out of this. I think. Um, I think it's going to be a base Terra. Has to be. Has to be. Oh, okay, we got an IR. Nice. <laughs> okay. Maybe now the next one's going to be a base Terra because I've never seen a base Terra being un like non unless unless that is being counted as the Terra, the Gavantula, the Gavantula full art is being counted. Which is also strange, because that means they probably would have... It feels as though they probably, like, mixed around the hits again. To be even nicer than usual, but we'll see. It's the last packet. Take our time a little second, Lacey. Celebi, Celebi. Alright, so... It looks as though... The base, the, the full art... If it's a full art Terra, that counts as a base Terra. Because then that makes sense. We've got two full arts there, three IRs. All right, cool. I'm not going to complain about that at all. That was a good box as well. Purely because of the uh, the Squirtle. But everything else is cool. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the other box is also 14 hits as well. So we've got our Deluxe Bomb. Crispin Full Art. Grand Tree EX Spec. Gavantula EX Terra. Terra Ghost EX. Dash Bun. Orthworm, Blastoise, Hydrapple, Orthworm, Squirtle, which is, if you get doubles of this, try to hold on to them. Try to. Just try to. If you can, great. If you can't, understandable. Because, you know, you'll be able to turn this for a good trade or good money to source towards something else. Venusaur, Lilip, and the Turtonator. He looks so goofy. <laughs> it looks so goofy. Oh. Oh. I would definitely say right now, our uh, entry into Stellar Crown has been quite amazing. Um, and we're only two booster boxes, an ETB, and four triple booster packs in deep. And I'm definitely going to go and check my checklist because I don't want to be over opening boxes at this point. Because if I don't have to, then I won't. You guys take it easy. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you in the next one.